Hey YouTubers, here's a quick video to show you a little bit of workflow in GarageBand. Let's open GarageBand. And we're going to choose an empty project. Choose. Okay, we're going to record using a microphone. Create. Check one, two. You can see in this window here the name of it is the volume slider and it's this LED so you can tell that you've got signal that's our microphone that's me speaking to you I'll turn this off currently we don't need the library I'm going to take that off currently we don't need the controls although the, this EQ is on right now I'm going to turn it off take off the controls don't want count off or a metronome. I'm going to go to time. I'm going to click record. Check one, two. Hi, this is Dave, and this is my first audition. Uh, let's do this again. I kind of screwed up. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, this is Dave. And this is my audition to you. Take two. Um, hi, this is Dave, and this is my audition. Okay, I think that's cool. Okay, so press the space bar to stop. Press the return button to get to the beginning so we can see the whole thing. All right, let's play that. I'm going to click record. Check one, two. Hi, this is Dave, and this is my first audition. So I've got a bunch of stuff in here that uh, I don't let's need. Let's do this again. Uh, like I screwed up. I kind of screwed up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, this is Dave. And this is my audition. Okay, so if we look at that and we go back to the hit the return button, we'll, we'll see the entire thing. There's a bunch of stuff in here that we don't need. If we're sending an audition to somebody, you don't want to send 15 seconds of run up time before you start speaking. I'm assuming that if you're doing an audition, you're going to start a slate with your name and it's going to be Hi. Hi, this is Dave. Hi, this is Dave. Or you would give your name and say the part you're reading for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the left side here with the bracket and drag that all the way until after this click it was my mouth smack. Bam. Take that whole thing, move that. And then press play. Hi, this is Dave. And this is my audition. And you want to get rid of the stuff at the end. So you go back here to the bracket. You keep your cursor under the, in the bottom half of it. Click and drag to there. Okay. Press return. You can use this slider to make this the width of your uh, screen. Hi, this is Dave. to you. Take two. Um, hi, this is Dave, and this is my audition. Okay, so you've got this um in the middle, which is kind of dead space, and it's like you've got two or three seconds. What you can do is you can click here and do Command T, which will split the track go into edit split regions at playhead here's the playhead 
So that's what I did. Then you can go and use your bracket and get rid of that and then click that, drag it over. Now you've got your whole thing. Now your whole thing is 14 seconds. Hi, this is Dave. And this is my audition to you. Take two. Hi, this is Dave, and this is my audition. Okay, so now you would send this and uh, create an MP3 out of this and put it in a folder so that you can may send it as an attachment to your agent or to a client or to wherever you're doing that. Okay, so you go to share and you click to export song to disk. I'm going to say this test audition where I'm going to click that so I so I get more of a um, more options. And I'm going to click new folder and I'm going to call this folder auditions. And you can give the date 2019. I'm going to create it. It's on my desktop. I want to create. You can create four different types: AAC, MP3, AAFF, and Wave. MP3 is pretty much the standard for sending auditions because they are emailable, they are smaller. We're using the highest quality that we can, which is 256 kilobits per second. And you click export. And when you get out of this, you go to your desktop, and now you've got a folder here called Auditions 2019. Here's a test audition. Click it. Press the space bar. Hi, this is Dave. And this is my audition to you. Take two. Hi, this is Dave, and this is my audition. And so now you have an audition on MP3 that you can send to a client.